this has to be the best extra hundred dollars I've spent. Welcome my friends, that Christmas time gift card receiving is finally going to pay off. A little while back in my community tab, I posted a poll asking people what they'd like to see for some content. One of those was building a video processing machine. Over the last three or four years, I've been using an HP Omen off-the-shelf computer that's worked out pretty well. But over time, that computer's gotten a little bit slower and doesn't work as well to process videos, do a 3D print design, and other things that I do with my computer. These new components that I picked up should make a big difference. I'm going to do a test on one of the videos I've processed in the past on the old computer, the HP Omen, and with the new components to see how much faster they are. Fingers crossed, it should make a big difference. Starting right from the beginning, right from the base, I should say, I've got the Asus ROG Strix B650 E-5 board. Uh, this is a mid-range board. It rated pretty decently from all the stuff that I'd seen and the research that I did. Uh, next component, we have the AMD processor. It's the 9 Series 7900X processor. I've been an AMD fan for quite a while. I guess it's maybe kind of a Ford Chevy thing. Uh, you prefer what you prefer. Stepping up quite a bit from the HP Omen graphics processor, I've got the RTX. 4070 dual. It's an overclock board. This is a big step up from the graphics processor that I do have in my HP Omen and should make a big difference in processing videos and such. This next component I'm pretty excited about. Many, many years ago when I was building computer forensic computers for the work that I used to do, I tried out liquid cooling. At that point, it was leaky, didn't seem to cool real well, and I preferred not to burn up the computer that I was using and make the county really unhappy with me. So I shied away from it. We're going to give this a try. And what made me excited about it is it has an LED screen that's just on top of the CPU cooler that'll give you the temperature of the CPU, uh, the fan speeds, and so on and so forth. But it also does graphics. It'll display a picture, which I thought was kind of cool. I probably spent an extra 100 bucks just to do that. Call me silly. For the Vols battery, we're doing 64 gigabytes, DDR5, 6,000 megahertz, made by Corsair. For the computer tower case, I chose a Corsair 4000D Airflow. Uh, a couple things I really liked about it. Uh, it does have a good amount of room. Uh, this is mid-ATX or ATX type case. Uh, it has some cable hiding areas uh, underneath. Uh, it also, one of the features, it has dust collector, dust filter that you can wipe off and, and clean off so that doesn't ideally get inside your computer. Computers be dusty, and when dusty, not working well. The most important component, probably, to power everything is going to be the Corsair RMX Shift Series R1000, which is a 1000 watt power supply. Should be good to power everything that I've got in the computer. It's ATX3, which I need for the graphics processor, and everything should work out well. I'm going to put it together. Uh, I'm not going to do second by second, but I'll do a quick time lapse of it. If you have some comments or things you think I should have done differently or could have done better or some suggestions, please post them down below. I'd be willing to listen to what everybody has to say, uh, but be kind. Uh, everybody has their own opinions. We're going to start with the motherboard. The one thing that I did read that I will most likely end up having to do is flash the BIOS to get it to work with the AMD CPU that I bought. Uh, it probably may have an older BIOS on it, so we're going to have to do that. BIOS uh, ended up flashing and finishing, so we're going to start with the next portion and we'll start inserting components. All right, we've got everything all connected up. I do have an NVMe card from my HP Omen that I'm going to mount into this. This is the next step. Uh, the ideal goal is that it'll pick up all the drivers and this computer will get working with that, that drive that's already got a Windows operating system on it and all my uh, files and Adobe Premiere and such all set up. So we're gonna get that going and see what it looks like. All right, so the NVMe card is in. This is kind of the proverbial dog pooping razor blades moment to see if this actually works out well and I don't ruin my VM and the other was in the other computer, the HP Omen. Here we go. We're going to power it up, see what she does. Of course, it helps to plug in the power supply and we're going to let her rip. Fingers crossed. I've got a splash screen. That's a little bit different so far. That's what I was looking for. So the next step, what I'm going to do is once I get all the drivers updated, put my other hard drives in this one from the HP Omen. Uh, I'm going to do the benchmark testing on a video that I've done in the past 
and also just some basic benchmark testing. So stick with me, we'll get to that. Okay, I'm gonna do a two part benchmarking of this. The first one is a 10 minute video. Uh, it's a video I just posted recently on a longer Ray 5 uh, 10 watt laser. Pretty cool laser, you should check that video out. Uh, that video processing it on my HP Omen took me about 11 minutes and seven seconds, which is fairly decent. It's not a bad time amount of time for a 10 minute video. Running it over to the new system that has all the, uh, the upgraded components, it took six minutes and 28 seconds. That's certainly a lot faster. And the thing I did notice uh, as I'm actually processing the video, uh, it's, I, I don't have as much stutter or jitter. Uh, next thing I'm posting up is the user benchmarks using the user benchmark app for both the HP Omen and the uh, new system that I built with all the uh, upgraded components. By the way, I'm going to put the links to the components that I purchased for this computer upgrade down below in the description. You can use those if you want. If not, great. Got to do some final cable management just to clean things up, make it look a little bit prettier, even though it's going to be pretty much hidden behind a desk so nobody really gets to see much of it. It is a cool computer. Check out the videos that are linked up above and have a great day.